All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 171. All right. So now we can write the logic to run it in the loop. So inside our for loop, we're going to use the plus equals operator to add to the end of text dot inner text. We're going to add the number at index I of the numbers array using numbers at I. Then we're going to add a new line using the escape sequence we used earlier. All right. So I was just thinking about this. Like if it was the if there if we had that meme that had uh the the different rankings like S A B C D and F class or E class or whatever it is, uh four loops would absolutely be in here in the S class because this is insanely important. All right. Uh that being said, I'm gonna actually show you my way of uh, trying to figure this out. So, <clears throat> pardon me, let's do, let's do a thing here. And, and you don't, you can copy this if you want. Uh, we're not gonna keep this. So let's do a const array, all right? And let's say array equals uh, an array with one, two, three, four, and five in it, right? And we know that this is index zero, index one, index two, index three, index four, right? Of course we do, <clears throat> pardon me. So let's come down here and let's do a for loop. The thing about these for loops is that they're perfect for iterating through arrays or strings, but we're just gonna do an array right now, all right? So we'll say something like it's four, let i equals zero, while i is less than array.length, we're gonna do i plus plus, all right? We know array.length, let's say uh, console.log, array dot length. We know that's going to be five, right? Let's open up the console. What? Oh yeah. Don't forget this thing. Uh, we know that's going to be five, right? So let's come over here. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to change each one of these to, uh, to be the, the actual, uh, index, right? So let's say something like this array array, uh, now e array at I, Okay, so array at the index, array at zero, it's gonna start at zero, now equals uh, i, all right? So let's come down here, right under this, and let's do a console.log array. Excuse me, let's, let's, let's get this i, let's wrap it in uh, print, uh, brackets while we're at it, all right? So we see right here, it changes the first one this is the first time it goes through, right? It does it does this, it, it, it uh, changes i, it changes the first thing, array at i to i. Actually, let's do this also. Let's do a console.log, console.log, array at i. All right, so we see array at i is the one, and it changes array at i to this, all right? Console.log, actually, let's do this. Let's put array at i in here, right? So we see it changes it uh, from one to zero, and then it changes it from two to the one. It goes through once, it, it logs this, okay? It does this, and then it logs this, all right? So this is the first time it goes through. This is the second time it goes through. This is the third time it goes through. This is the fourth time it goes through. And this is the fifth time it goes through. That's why it's called a loop. It goes through the code here. It loops around and goes through the code here. It loops around and goes through the code here. It loops around and goes through the code here. And it loops around and goes through the code here, right? And so it's like a loop. And it's also like a helix because it's going in the loop, but it's also going forward at the same time. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, we're going to do this so much you will absolutely 100,000% understand exactly how these things work and then some by the time you're making good money doing this, all right? So let's come back up here and do what this thing's telling us. So uh, we're gonna add the number at index i of the numbers array using numbers at i to the end of text.inner text using the plus equals operator. All right, cool, cool. So we're gonna say text, dot 
inner text plus equals uh, numbers at I, numbers at I. And then we're going to add a new line. So we'll do a plus sign. We'll do plus. Uh, and then we'll have the quotes and we'll do the escape in. So we'll do this with the in after it, right? So while we're at it, uh, let's uh, let's check the code first. Actually, let's let's do the uh, uh, console.log. Actually, no. Let's let's run this thing. Let's go to uh, let's say pick eight like that and run it. All right, cool. So we see it goes. This is the first time it goes through, and it and it add, it does the the line break, the uh, new line, and then this is the second time it goes through. Third, fourth, fifth. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. All right. And if we run the code, it works, right? Uh, and if we wanted to, we could have instead of i equals 10, we could go i equals uh, i equals what are we doing? Numbers dot length, numbers dot length. And you can see it stays the same, right? Of course, these numbers change because they're random, but it still does exactly what we want it to do, right? So that's that's how for loops work. Uh, we're, like I said, we're going to do this uh, uh, so many times you will know exactly what you're doing with these things and, and when to use these, right? So let's uh, submit it. And all right. And now we're on to uh, step 172. And we'll see you next time.